I mean, it's a fast race and uh, it's a win. And uh, yeah, I was looking for it for for a long time now, few years. So I'm uh, really happy to, to to do it with all, uh, all the team. Yeah, our goal was to try to win, and uh, we did it. The start was not easy, upwind with strong winds, uh, going out of the Solent was uh, well, was difficult and the first, I will say, six or eight hours was uh, really strong winds. This is a flying machine. They can go a uh, speed that's uh, unbelievable. Uh, Francois, um, congratulations, you've just broken the record in the 50th edition of the Rolex Fastnet race. How are you feeling? Everything good. I'm not saying I don't care about the record, but it was the uh, first race and uh, yeah, our goal was to try to win and uh, we did it. So, uh, very, very happy and uh, that's a long time uh, we didn't win. So. It was a uh, good event. And that's uh, two years, his uh, birthday was yesterday. So it's a good present for his birthday, uh, for the boat. Two years after uh, our launching to, yeah, to, win, uh, to win a race, perfect. Francois Gabart, the solo non-stop around the world record holder, has unveiled a radical new giant Ultim Trimaran with fighter jet helm-like stations. He gives the sailing world on waters, Christophe Favreau, a boat tour, of his radical SVL Azatig, as he prepares for the Transat Jacques Vab. Now over to Christophe. So here we are with uh, François Gabard on his uh, beautiful uh, Ultime. How can you uh, uh, explain uh, to uh, the Aussie uh, audience uh, Hello. how it works? Welcome on board the Trimaran SVR Lazartic. So we're on the Ultime boat. We're five boats like this uh, in Le Havre for the Transat Jacques Vab. Uh, this is a big boat, I mean uh, 100 feet uh, long, 23 meters uh, wide, a mast a uh, little bit more than 35 meters, and they are flying machines. So we have these big foils and uh, big rudders, and uh, we can fly uh, when the speed of the boat is around 22, 23 knots in approximately 12, 13 uh, knots of wind. So we all, all the boats have quite the same uh, um, topics for the, for the fall. We have these big falls, we have a, a T-board with a flap at the end of the T-board and all, on all the rudders we have the same with flap uh, to control the fly uh, of the boat. Okay. Um, one of the things we work a lot on this boat is uh, all aerodynamics. Um, so the boat is quite nice, uh, there is not so much uh, that's going out and all the cockpit is inside the main hull and we can just uh, have a look inside. Okay, here we go. Inside. Yes, inside the cockpit. Uh, so it's where we will spend a lot of time with the two winch uh, on the back, two smaller winch uh, in the front. We can do everything from here. We have, uh, we can grind. Uh, we have all the hydraulic pump that's just uh, uh, behind uh, here. Uh, then we can uh, uh, 
payloads the boat from here, which is a, a electronic uh, rudder. So in fact, we control the autopilot with this, and we can, uh, uh, yeah, we you can uh, steer the boat from here, and you have uh, everything uh, you need, and you see quite well, and you can be full protected from here if you, I close here, even if it's a lot of water, uh, you still. Uh, dry and protect uh, just on the back of the boat so you, you have three spaces, three different spaces um, here I will see it's a little bit the living uh, where we can live so we can sleep here there is a, a seat which usually is here I don't know what's, where the team put it but I can do all the weather um, so in fact we have a, a good seat here so it's not here, but uh, you can do weather, uh, navigation, everything. You can also have the autopilot. You can speak with the guy uh, who is handling the boat here. Uh, on the back, you have the kitchen, small kitchen. Um, big kitchen. <laughs> big kitchen, of course. There are lots of space. No, I, actually, uh, compared to um, the past boat, it's quite big, you're all inside, but this uh, there is volume to yeah to be two or more on the boat. The, we can sail six easily six people on this boat, and even more if uh, if we need. But uh, it's it has been designed to sail from solo to six people. Okay, great. Another place here, just uh, in front, uh, around the dagger ball. So this is the dagger ball case here. And uh, we have a lot of electronics, the um, oil for hydraulics. Uh, and if you're selling solo, uh, you don't have so much air. If you're selling with a crew, you can have people who are sleeping here. Um, and we, we have a lot of stuff here, but uh, because it's in the center of the boat, so if we have weight to put on the boat, it's good to, to be around. And again, it's, uh, I'm not so big, but... Uh, even a tall man can uh, stand here. Yeah, it's something like nearly two meters. Yeah, um, approximately a bit. Yeah. Then uh, after we are just... Uh, uh, this is a front beam, just here. And uh, after you can just go inside, but there is not so much to do. You can just <laughs> you can go all the way uh, to the to the bow, but uh, we try to not go there so, so often. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for bye bye.